Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Our first day in Rocky for this month. It was an amazing day. Super productive, super happy with everyone I work with today. Um, but I do want to have a quick chat to you guys about time management. And I know it's a big thing, uh, and I even say it a lot, about how it's not about time management, it's about energy management. And people keep saying, you know, throw time management out of the window and just focus uh, on energy management. And that's a really good thing to understand. And yes, there's a big, uh, a big part of me that wants to go, yeah, 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 it's all about energy management, it's all about energy management. Hello, Ben, how are you? Uh, but time management is definitely still a thing. It still exists, it's still important, and there's definitely still ways that you can improve the improve your day, improve your week, and make sure that you're being as productive as you possibly can. Uh, so let's put energy management to the side for a moment and just talk about the time that you are spending uh, doing anything. So a couple of things that I have uh, been talking about this week with some of my clients is when, when you're actually doing tasks and something comes up where you now might have to wait for 15 minutes or, you know, you get stuck on something loading or, you know, you might take a phone call or anything like that. Every time you stop concentrating on what you're doing at that particular time and then come back to it, you have your brain has to, like, kick back into gear and get focused on that again. So if you're like half an hour on this, 15 minutes on that, 20 minutes on that, or like, you know, you spend an hour on this and then, you know, move over to do take this phone call and come back, even just that taking of that phone call, uh, you know, it, you have to then get your brain to come back into the game of what you were doing and it takes time for you to reach your, uh, you know, full efficiency again. So jumping around to different tasks is not a productive thing to do. It's poor time management. So if you were to have... Uh, like, like let's say you're waiting for something to load or you're waiting for something to happen before you can keep moving rather than jumping over to another task that you're not probably you're probably not going to actually get into the full swing of for the first 50, 10 or 15 minutes anyway then find something else that you can do in that 15 minutes that's not going to make your brain go to a completely different place maybe uh, you know plan plan out the rest of your day or 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 you know, write something about the thing that you're doing right now, and and really focus. Have a focus attention on getting something finished before you start the next thing. So if you can imagine, right, you've got ten hours in your day, and if you were to spend that entire ten hours on one task, you don't have any moments where you're lacking in productivity because you've come back from something else. Now, in in all you know, the perfect world, ten hours of the same task is never going to happen. We have to eat. We do need to take phone calls, we do need to check our emails, and we do need to go to meetings. But what we can do is block out chunks of our time and go, right, this time is solely for this task that I'm working on. And in that block, you don't actually do anything to do anything else but that task. If you if there's a phone call that happens, you don't answer it. You leave it on silent. Even the ringing makes you get out of that flow. You, you lose your flow. Keep your phone on Do Not Disturb. Don't have your emails coming up. Just do that task and you'll find that you actually do it a lot faster than if you're jumping back and forth here, there and everywhere. And you can take this to a bigger scale as well. So if you've got, and this happens you know, to the best of us, opportunities coming from left, right and centre and you start one and then you think of another one and you start that and then you get another one and you start that and so what you end up having is 10 things started with nothing ever finished. So a better way to manage your time in that is, and I like to do it visually, actually have something where it's like, okay, this is my time to get this project done. And I might be working on you know, three projects at a time, but actually this other thing that's come into my world, yes, I still want to do it, but I'm actually not going to invest any of my time or energy in it until after these two or three are completed so that I'm not... I'm not in that like, yeah, like brain spasm all the time because I've got so many things going on in my head. You, and and, and the, the, the satisfaction of actually getting something done can also lead into, into, into more productivity. You get it done, you're next, let's do this one. So time management is still a really important part of everything you're doing. Uh, and, and, and another thing that I like to, to do that I find helps a lot of other people as well is when you do have a huge task, or a huge list of tasks that you need to get done, which can be quite overwhelming. And this is when we start to actually jump into different things here, there, and everywhere. 
uh, is to have that list. I definitely have that list, but don't look at it every day. Take three things, just three things, put it into your calendar, and they're the only three things you have to get done this day. Four's okay, three or four, one of those two is good. Jenna, how are you? Um, so what we want to do then is like a, a delegate a day to each of these things. Put three things on this day, three things on that day, three things on the next day. And if you get to the end of those three things, lowers. <laughs> That's why I haven't replied to you yet. Um, so if you get to the end of those three things, you now have a choice. You now have a choice whether you take another thing from that list or you actually just stop working for the day. And that's, I think that's a better system. I actually prefer that system. You get your three things done and you're done. Like it's what, two, three o'clock in the afternoon right now. I've completed all the things on my, on my diary to-do list today. Tick, 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 tick. I'm done. There's no more work happening today because I know that the rest of my list has a day that it's delegated to. And as long as I just keep doing my three things every single day, that they'll eventually get done. Uh, so guys, don't, don't don't throw time management out the window. Energy management is really, really important. Yes, I agree. Um, but time management is still a thing. Still think about it. Still have some strategies around it. Cool? Um, so, Rocky, I'm still here for another three days. Sunny Coast, I'm there next week. Gold Coast, I'm there next week. It is an epic two weeks of Queensland, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!